Is your third generation Prius from the model year 2010 to 2015 stuck in parking? You can't put it in the drive or reverse? Let me show you some common problems which could cause it. So I bought this car used and after driving for a few months, I really liked it. However, one day I turned on the car and it showed me this message, check hybrid system. And the message is in Italian, of course. And you have all these warning lights popping up and I could not put it into drive or reverse. It's stuck in parking. With previous experience with other Prius, the first thing I suspected was the hybrid battery pack, which could have deteriorated to such a point to not allow the car to operate optimally. So from previous experience, what I did first was to remove the service safety plug of the hybrid battery pack in the back under the trunk and also resetting by removing the terminal of the 12 volt battery and then resetting the car. So normally that would have reset the computer completely and clears all the error messages. And it did clear the error message of check hybrid system. However, the other warning lights were still on after restarting it. Despite of resetting the computer, I still couldn't put the car into drive or reverse and it's stuck in parking. So I tried to use Dr. Prius app on my phone to read the error code and it shows the P3004 error code. And I tried to clear the error code. I tried to reset the computer several more times and the car still shows the same symptom. At last, I had no choice but to call a tow truck to tow it to the nearest Toyota dealership. At the Toyota service center, they have much better equipment and well-trained technicians. And I suggested initially that it could be a problem with the inverter, because based on my experience, even if the battery pack is going bad, you can still start the car and drive it, even with worse fuel economy. However, the car doesn't go in gear at all, means that there's some other problem. So they said, based on their diagnosis, that the car has a short in the hybrid electrical system where the battery pack does not even deliver the charge to the inverter. So for them to further troubleshoot the inverter, first we have to replace the battery pack, which is quite expensive. A new battery pack from Toyota would cost about 2,126 euros before taxes. And also they suspect it could be a problem with the relay. However, the first step is still to order a new battery pack. Fortunately for me, I already knew a company in Rome which regenerates battery packs using original Toyota cells. It's called Ibrida, and I was able to get a regenerated battery pack for only 1,600 euros with tax and shipping included. And Toyota's service center was nice enough to remove the original battery pack and give it to me for shipping to this third-party company. Out of my own curiosity, before I shipped the battery pack to Ibrida to get a replacement, I decided to test the battery pack myself. So I opened it up and tried to test each individual cell block by block. However, I realized that it's kind of futile because they're connected in a series and any measurement would not be accurate. And in order to get an accurate assessment of individual cells, I would have to disconnect everything and test them individually. I didn't really have the time, so I just decided to send this off and get a replacement battery pack. After installing the new battery pack, the car still showed the same error message, P0809, plus two additional error messages. The Toyota technician confirmed my original suspicion about the inverter, and it needs to be replaced. The only problem, it costs over 2,000 euros before taxes. So I decided to follow the advice of the technician and find a used inverter. And it doesn't even have to be from the same year of Toyota Prius. In fact, the technician suggested me to look for the Toyota Auris made from the year 2012 to 2018, which has a different product code, but is compatible and slightly improved over the 2011 third generation inverter. Luckily, I was able to find a used inverter from the model year 2012 to 2018 Auris that is compatible with the Prius. And after we installed it, all the error codes disappeared and the car began to operate normally.